A Russian oil tycoon is sitting in a Serbian jail for tax evasion. But his lawyers say his imprisonment is politically motivated by the Russian government in an effort to keep him quiet. Fox News senior correspondent Eric Shawn joins us now live in our New York City newsroom with more on the story. Eric? Hey, Uma, you know, he was once one of the richest men in the world. The multi-billionaire head of Yukos Oil, Russia's largest energy supplier. Now Mikhail Khodorkovsky is confined to a Siberian prison cell. He's been convicted of fraud and tax evasion, but some view his prosecution as having been politically motivated. The victim, they say, of a Kremlin effort to regain Russia's once substantial power by using energy as a weapon against the West. His lawyers say he was attacked by another inmate, slash as the attacker tried to put a knife through his eye. The Russian authorities tell Fox News he had to get several stitches, they say, after an argument. But his lawyer, Robert Asadam, tells us that Russian officials are to blame. There is nothing that happens to Mr. Khodorkovsky that isn't determined by the highest principles at the Kremlin. So whatever happened to him is not an accident. Uh, it is not a matter of a dispute between prisoners. It is a message. Well, Khodorkovsky supporters, as you heard, allege the Russian government itself trying to kill him. But Russian representatives tell Fox News the government had nothing to do with this attack. The assault, though, does come at a crucial time for the Kremlin. Since it shut off gas to the Ukraine and Europe last January, its use and control of energy has focused attention increasingly on its aggressive tactics. Now the Russian government is trying to raise $20 billion by offering public shares in the company that was created from Yukos. It could be the largest initial uh, stock offering to the public in history and critical to the Kremlin's plans to play a dominant role in world energy markets. You may know that Russia is the world's top producer of natural, ga uh, natural gas. It is number two in oil. That's a powerful incentive, says Mr. Amsterdam, to try and keep his client behind bars. Uma, back to you. Eric Shawn, thank you.